All right, so um, this is me the uh, next part of your um, digital painting. So at this point now, you should have uh, figured out where all your um, uh, what your light and dark areas are. But um, obviously, this isn't like a really detailed version of it. It's just like kind of gives you a general idea of um, where those lights and darks are. Uh, but um, the next part I want you to do is um, with the um, with the image that you're using. I want you to actually drag this into the um, uh, Photoshop. Okay, so you're gonna click and drag this um, your uh, the the photo that we're using the um, picture into Photoshop, and um, and then just uh, drag this outside so it's on a separate window by itself. So we we ha we've had it in the um, the preview window, but I want you to actually click that in into Photoshop. So you know now we're gonna go into more detail with um, you know what areas we're gonna make. Light, light in the picture, and then what areas we're going to make dark. So, um, in order for us to do that, though, I want you to um, uh, click on this image, and um, and then I want you to change the image into black and white. So the way you're going to change this to black and white is you're going to um, uh, and make sure you're clicking on this um, uh, the photograph, not your um, not your drawing. You're going to go to um, image adjustments, and then you're going to click on this desaturate button. So desaturate is just like a fancy word for um, Changing an image to black and white, it's some um, you know getting rid of the color because when you when you say you're saturating something, you're, you're saying you're adding more color to it, and desaturates the opposite of that. So it's going to make your image black and white. But um, yeah, I'm just going to hit Command Z to undo and redo this. But you can see how like some of these colors that we um, have in the um, actual um, painting that we're looking at, it's it's making the picture look um, a lot brighter. But if you think of it in terms of values, like this orange here and then the red down here. These are actually going to be more of like um, grayer tones. Okay, so um, it's actually more important to, um, you know, kind of just leave this black and white, and then, um, you know, don't worry too much about the colors. Um, you know, only uh, worry about the values. So, I um, mean, you know, at this point now, we're going to go into more detail with um, the shading. So this painting is actually very, it's a very gray type of painting. So, um, so I'm actually going to start with the pumpkin. You can you can pick any areas to start off with. I think the pumpkin is the easiest to begin with. Uh, but at this point now, you're going to um, add a new layer, and then you're going to add this layer on top of all of your other layers. So you have your outline, your shadows on separate layers. Um, this layer is going to be on top of everything. This, this layer is going to be called the um, underpainting layer. All right, so this is where you're going to start to do your um, uh, your digital painting. But I want you to think about it in terms of um, values. Um, you know, your areas of light, areas of dark, and areas of uh, gray. All right, so you're gonna use the brush, and, um, and you can use the fuzzy brush again. I think the fuzzy brush is really good for values. So um, yeah, what you're gonna do here is uh, you're gonna utilize the um, the option or the Alt key. Um, this is the um, this is gonna go. Uh, it's gonna be a quick key to your um, your eye drop tool. So you remember the eye drop tool from Illustrator? It's basically it just picks out the colors that you need. So like um, you know, I have this gray here. I can pick up again and I can color over it. So basically this is the point where you're just going to start to color your values together. And um, and then when you're coloring your values, change your opacity to 30. I think 30 is a good number, but basically on 30 it's only doing 30% at a time, so you kind of build up your dark areas. Uh, but you know, if you leave it at 100, it's going to have your dark areas there. But I, I usually like using 30 though for my values. And uh, you know now I'm just going to be coloring over my um, my lines here. All right, and then if you want to go darker with your values, um, you can click on the swatches on your toolbar, and this gives you a good range of your values. Um, you know, the higher up you go, the lighter the value. The bottom is going to be more darker. If you go to the right, it's going to get more saturated. But don't worry about the um, you know having your colors more saturated. You want to keep it like around you know up and down here. So I'm going to make it darker here. And, you know, I'm just looking at the values now. This is, you know, where I'm going to start to actually start to blend things together. So I have my dark value here. And then and then to do the blending, the um, you, you basically want to eye drop the color next to the next color. And then just, like, kind of go over it a couple times. And then you can just keep eye dropping, like, the middle color. And this is going to be, like, how you're going to, um, you know, go about with uh, blending those colors. And if you look at my pumpkin here, this is all like a gray value, so I might actually make this all like the same value. This is actually a really dark color here.
you know, if you need to go lighter though, you can eye drop it, click on your swatches, move this up a little bit higher, and then you can go a little bit lighter with your values. And then at this point here, this is going to get like to like a white color here. So it's just going to like require a lot of um, eye dropping and then, you know, just painting over your lines. So you have to, you're going to basically just be painting over your lines um, a lot of times as you're working. So, you know, I'm just like laying my shadows here and then laying the shadows on the, um, on the stem. Yeah, I'm going to keep it all like the same value here. And you know, this is going to be how you're going to make your, um... Oh, can you open that, Hirsch? Yeah, that, so you always want to start off with your, um, your shadows first, and then build up onto your, um, your light areas. Usually that's the way that painting works, is uh, you do the darks, and then build up to your, your light areas. And then you always want to do like, um, what's it called, uh, you know, do like broad strokes into, uh, into like more details. So like, you know, after like you've got like a good, you know, you, you kind of like figure out where your values are, then you can go into like the, um, like with a harder edge brush. And then you can go like a little bit more, um, more detail with the line work. So that's all painting is just like kind of just refining your refining and just working over your um, you know your workspace. All right. So I'm actually gonna have that shadow on the back here. And then I got my uh, cash out on the bottom. So this is actually gonna be like a, a black black almost. I'm gonna go here, make that no dark, dark. Put my cash on there. I mean, you kind of get the idea where it's heading, though. All right. So, you guys, have any questions on the, on this part? Some of those blacks up here. Yeah, but your um your option the alt key that's gonna be your your um your best friend for this part. <laughs>